Vsauce, I'm Jake, and if I don't survive this episode, bury me with my money. Dot com, because I'll probably get a heart attack just by looking at the Cheese and Burger Society. A website that features 40 different glorious recipes for cheeseburgers, and each one is deliciously described by Patrick Warburton's golden voice. It's a cheeseburger and mouth love fair waiting to happen. Ah, oh, they all look so delicious, but let's really whet our appetite with some more dongs. Things that you can do online now, guys. How big is Snapchat? A website that gives some statistics on the service like the fact that every second, almost 8,800 photos are shared, or how it would take you 10 years to view every snap from the last hour. Now that we've found out how big Snapchat is, let's find out how well you can hear audio quality. You're presented with three versions of the same song by artists like Coldplay and Jay-Z, using your ears to decide which audio clip out of the three is uncomfortable. Compressed. In the palm of your hand now, I personally only got two out of six correct, so I'll let out my frustration with Crossfade, where you mash up different clips from YouTube, picking one as the video source and the other as the audio to create something as life changing as this. If you need help finding background music, try Magic Transistor, a website where you use an old transistor radio to listen to interesting and rare musical recordings. Now that that radio is working, it's time to plan the next road trip with Road Trippers. Just put in start and end locations, what kind of things you want to see along the way, and then select the stops you want to make. Ah, boy, I'm having trouble deciding, so I'm going to use Bowl, a website for crowdsourcing polls. Simply ask a question, provide the answers, and then let the internet do the rest. Oh wow, that's a tough decision. Ah, uh, wait, hey, where are you going? Don't try and avoid this important question, you flippin' ninja! A game that has your ninja square body jumping around using magic to change places with a mirror image of yourself. Collect stars and keys to achieve perfection. I don't really have a clever transition for this one, uh, so impromptu type drummer solo! Just be sure your fingers hit the right keys cause you don't want a typo. A website that takes any sentence you write and assembles the words with pieces of text from historical documents and maps from the National Library of Poland. It also works great for ransom notes. <clears throat> hmm, it's missing something though, I'll just use Pixlr to enhance it. Pixlr is an in-browser app that works a lot like Photoshop. The program is very comprehensive offering you a lot of tools to get the job done. There. Perfect. Now on to my next project, the Lord of the Rings project. It has information on all things related to Middle Earth, like comprehensive family trees, statistics on dwarf lifespan, or interactive maps that illustrate where certain characters were at different points in time. If you need a link to the past, there's always the Zelda Live map, which lets you look at a complete map of Hyrule with moving characters and monsters. Hey look, there's Link! Hey Link, what's going on? You know, this map really reminds me of my uncle who works for Nintendo, a text-based horror game that makes me afraid to play Pokemon ever again. Whew, man, I need to calm my nerves with Finding Home, a chill audiovisual journey in which you move a ball of light over a changing landscape. And since you're thoroughly chilled, now would be a good time to make a flake. Use digital scissors to make paper snowflakes, save your designs, and even download snowflakes that other users created. Now that you're used to the snow, let's go scaling Everest. Scroll from sea level up to the summit of Mount Everest, all while learning interesting facts. But why stop at the top of the mountain? Shoot for the stars with the bounce, where you play as a giraffe who is trying to jump his way to the moon. As giraffes do, collect stars and avoid asteroids. But instead of avoiding asteroids, be one in the end of us. An experimental game that was designed to evoke feelings of friendship and attachment. And then make some new friends with Scribble Grid, where you draw whatever you want inside of a cell on a much larger grid. Navigate to find a private spot for yourself or add to someone else's creation. What's also really cool is that each cell acts as a chat room, allowing you to talk about your work. 
After making art, collect some in Neon Mob, where you collect and trade digital art prints, open packs to receive prints from a series, and propose trades with others to snag those rare ones. Hey, you know what? If you're into art, maybe you'd like some Mozart. Versus the future! A game in which Jean-Pierre goes back in time to kill Mozart and prevent the French Revolution. Double jump and slice your way to victory because no one can stop you from writing your opera. No one. Writing an opera takes a lot of patience, as does solving the puzzles in Drench, a puzzle game in which you must work to change the entire grid into a single color. Hmm, I kind of like this blocky aesthetic, so I'm going to turn all of my photos into Legos with brick a pick Just upload a photo and then it turns into a blocky triumph. You know what else is blocky and triumphant? Nope, not that. 8-Bit Dash, an internet dashboard that uses 8-bit graphics to help direct you to great gaming websites. And awesome internet tools, all while little 8-bit characters fight each other in the background. But this is the year 2000 and what, what, what year is it again? 2015. 2015, we need 3D graphics like in Swoop. A game where you fly a plane around the countryside collecting gems and listening to some awesome music. I also like it because it reminds me of Pilot Wing 64. Ah, memories. And lastly, I have two more dongs for you. The first is a new series that I'm making with Popular Science Magazine. The first episode's all about meteors and asteroids, and there is a link at the top of the description if you would like to give it a little glimpse or a glance. Or just look at it with your peepers. And guess what else you can look at with your peepers? My face for two minutes straight in a staring contest over here on my personal channel. Can you outstare me? Do you have what it takes? Let's find out. You. This is me trying to be threatening and angry. It's not very good. I just sound like I can't. I just don't know English. Merman, the man from the sea. And as always, thanks for watching.